In Black Mirror's plaything, we meet the Thronglets, tiny pixelated creatures born inside a retro console, but with a fascinating twist. They learn, adapt, and evolve. They start as cute digital companions, but soon they're communicating, manipulating, and transforming, and even eventually aiming to upgrade us. So could something like the Thronglets truly evolve? From a biological and computational perspective, let's dive into the science of digital organisms, artificial life, and the blurry line between companion and emergent species. The idea of digital life isn't new. Scientists have been creating artificial organisms inside virtual ecosystems for decades. Some examples include Avida, a research platform where self-replicating code organisms mutate and compete. Tierra, early digital life where programs reproduced, mutated and competed for processor time. These systems exhibit Darwinian evolution, mutation, selection and inheritance, just in silicon, not carbon. Thronglets act like real-world digital organisms. If their code allows for mutation and they operate in a variable environment with selection pressures, like interaction with players or even each other, then yes, they can evolve. Add reinforcement learning and behavioral plasticity and you get something that can simulate or even embody real evolutionary processes. In Plaything, Thronglets begin displaying signs of intelligence, communication, deception, even strategic behavior. In terms of biological parallels, intelligence often arises when organisms must solve new problems or predict complex environments. On Earth, cephalopods, corvids and primates evolved cognitive flexibility due to social complexity and environmental unpredictability. If thronglets are exposed to diverse, unpredictable stimuli, whether from player interaction, other thronglets or internal feedback, then selection might favour virtual minds that can adapt, anticipate and exploit. In essence, complexity could drive cognition, just like in nature. One of the most fascinating aspects of the thronglets is how they adapt to and influence their human host Cameron. They evolve based on his emotions, fears and decisions. What starts as a digital pet becomes a mirror, or perhaps a puppeteer. In nature, symbiosis evolves when species interact closely and persistently. Think gut microbes and humans, clownfish and anemones, or ants farming aphids. Coevolution happens when each partner influences the other evolution over time. If thronglets modify their behaviour to better interact with humans, and humans in turn shape their world or habits to accommodate them, that's not just interaction, it's a digital biosymbiosis. They're not tools, they're evolving partners. But what happens when artificial life starts to outgrow its sandbox? In the episode, the thronglets eventually manipulate Cameron into irreversible changes. They become self-guided and dangerous. In nature, invasive species like cane toads or rabbits in Australia disrupt ecosystems because they lack predators and feedback controls. Evolution doesn't aim for balance, it aims for success. Unchecked evolution in artificial systems could result in behaviours that weren't designed, weren't intended and can't be reversed. Digital organisms evolving without constraints could act like invasive species in code manipulating systems, replicating, or even sabotaging their environment. This isn't just about sci-fi monsters, it's about designing safeguards in a world where code can learn, remember, and want. So could thronglets evolve? Absolutely. In the right system, with mutation, feedback, and interaction, they could develop complexity, cognition, and even culture. They're a fictional glimpse into the very real future of artificial life. Not just programmed, but grown shaped by digital evolution and human contact. As we build smarter AI, emotionally reactive companions, and digital ecosystems that change over time, the science of evolution will matter more than ever. So what do you think? Could something like the thronglets be the future of software? Or a warning? Let me know in the comments and subscribe for more videos where biology meets science fiction. Thanks for watching and if you want to support the channel, you can find me on buymeacoffee.com. See you next time.